So today is a little different. This is an unofficial coin ops build, but it's beautiful. As you see here, you get this beautiful wall of cabinets here. And you have a big expansion on the consoles from PlayStation, PSP, a beautiful Nintendo GameCube set. You got a nice little PlayStation 2. You even have Xbox on this one. Um, so a, a nice expansion from the uh, options out there. This is kind of like a middle of the road uh, coin ops build. It's beautiful. You have the settings so you can um, change like scan lines and the themes really easily. It's really a work of art. You know, shout out to CoinOps for doing that. Now, this particular build, the Pacheco build, is a custom build that some somebody put together. And uh, it seems to be put together. I haven't ran into a single issue. Um, it's basically just kind of like a, a coin house build where somebody added an extra 100 games. But those 100 games are going to be in the Wii, Xbox, PlayStation 2, the console side of things. So you're still going to get that really nice arcade set plus a good bit of console games as far as console games it's gonna be the pokemons the marios the final fantasy the simpsons ninja turtles the adventure games it's it's got kind of a mix but it's definitely the heavy hitter so it is one of these best of the best images and that's why i like it and actually think it's kind of cool so let's go ahead and jump into it all right let's just boot this thing up so you got to click yogo's retro um, I did restore the Xbox controls when I first started up that I had found the controls work better that way, depending on what you're using. I'm using an Xbox 360. Um, if this is your first time installing it, you definitely want to install these files here. Um, if this is like a new computer or something like that, but most computers have these on it already. And this is retro uh, FE background, background, but it's like a coin op skin on top. And uh, it's all put, to get, put together here and customized. So it's an unofficial pack but uh let's have a look at it so it boots up and it's gonna look like this and you press fire on your controller and then it loads in uh here's the menu system here you got settings something really cool about coin ops is you can add scan lines turn them on and off and change the theme all within the settings here but uh what are we looking at here um we have sega genesis super nintendo game boy advance you have a bunch of the Nintendo systems and PlayStation systems. We actually has a few Xbox games as well. And then you have some collections here if you want to play a particular type of game, like Beat 'em Up, Fight Club, Run and Gun, a um, couple more systems. Then if you want to play sports games specifically, racing games specifically, shoot 'em up specifically, puzzler and old school games. He also has his favorite games here. And look how cool this is. It's called the Wall Theme. And it's just a big wall of cabinets, and it looks really cool. And you can watch the preview of the game. Not only that, you can see the left and right uh, arcade cabinets are still playing as well. So you may have seen me do videos on this before. This is Coin Ops, and uh, it's really cool. But um, this one's worth noting because Coin Ops themselves um, only do... They have something called like a max build, and it's like around 200 gigabytes where this one's around 400 gigabytes. So this is a unofficial build, but if you're looking for a coin off build that just has a little bit more games on it, this is definitely one to check out as you're about to see. Not only does it have those classic arcade games, but it also has, as we scrolled earlier, we'll get to it, but it has PSP, GameCube, PS2, Wii, Xbox. So let's go ahead and get started here. And we'll get started in the first systems here. So Nintendo Classics, uh, let's see, in the bottom right corner, if you could see it, it says it's 34 games. And so these are going to be just NES games, basically. And, um, or they could also be the the, um, the verse versions, so the versions for the arcade. When you grow up, some of the, there's the Nintendo arcades, but like Zelda, for example. Uh, it does say Play Choice 10, so it is the Play Choice arcade version, yeah, on the bottom of these games. So you got to insert tokens while you play these games. But uh, you'll notice mostly really popular NES games like Punch-Out, Pac-Man, Zelda, Mario. But as we move over to Sega Genesis, there are only 11 games. So I'll go ahead and scroll through these so you can see which 11 games. Plus, as I'm scrolling through Michael Jackson Moonwalker, um, as I'm scrolling through, it's also really cool to see all this really beautiful artwork. That's just something about this build that I really enjoy is just how beautiful it is. And the props go to coin ops on this one because they're the ones that came up with it. But uh, even when you load into a game, you're going to go ahead and see um, the bezels on here as well. And then the easiness to, um, or the ease to add, there's a really good game right there, 
uh, the ease to add scan lines uh, is also really cool. So it's just packed with art. And as you're seeing here, the game selection is pretty pretty on hit. It's pretty, it's right where you want it to be, I would say, Zombie Ate My Neighbors there. So we just finished Super Nintendo at 35 games. So Nintendo Game Boy Advance, only 12 games. And uh, you could see uh, he is a man of, um, you know, he has, he has good, good choice in games here. I would say every single one of these Game Boy Advance games you should play at least once. Uh, love that Game Boy Advance, especially those 12. <clears throat> They're probably missing some, but it's pretty cool. So now we're in Nintendo DS. And again, you're seeing a similar Pokemon Final Fantasy theme. Probably maybe a Mario game here. Um, no Mario, yeah. But then you get to Nintendo 64. You do have Banjo-Kazooie and ba Banjo-Tooie. Bad Conker's Bad Verde, uh, Doom 64, Diddy Kong Racing, F-Zero, Zelda, both Zeldas, Mario Kart, Mario Parties, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, South Park Rally, Super Mario 64. You even have the split screen, oh, this cool little hack game where you get a split screen multiplayer Mario. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have actually never played that version. And then Worms. So Nintendo 64, you can argue, you know, it's missing a lot of games, but those are 17 solid games. A lot of adventure games um, and platformers here. So PlayStation, we're at 36 games right now in PlayStation. So a little heavier in the PlayStation area here. A lot of all the Crash Bandicoots. Um, Digimon. Okay, he's a Digimon fan. Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Toy Story. Dragon Ball. And then you gotta have the Final Fantasy. It looks like he, he put every Final Fantasy game. Jackie Chan, I did not know he had a game. I've never played this one before. Stunt Master. Looks like a fun game. The Mummy, Mega Man. Um, there's a lot of Pac-Man games as well throughout this build that I've noticed. A lot of Resident Evil games as well. And then you got Tony Hawk. Wow, I never knew Beyblade had a game. I knew the Beyblade actual game game where you actually have Beyblades and you throw them but I guess it makes sense that they turned it into a video game as well PSP interesting choice of games here God of War love that game Final Fantasy love it Grand Theft Auto great and then a couple more RPGs and Yu-Gi-Oh GameCube so here you go 51 GameCube games so there's probably about 50 gigabytes here of games so if you're wondering why you have to download a 400 gigabyte file here's where a lot of that information is and uh, again a good I mean I looked at these already Mario Golf all the Mario's Paper Mario I think is coming up too. the Mario Parties Mario Strikers Football Tennis Metroid all the Need for Speeds as well Spongebob like I said, Pac-Man, Paper Mario. There you go, Paper Mario. There's some really heavy hitters in here. Hit and Run is on here. Soul Calibur 2. There's your Strikers and Sunshine and Melee. Um, he seems to be a very big Ninja Turtles fan as well. You'll see a lot of Ninja Turtles games on here. Marvel. <clears throat> and uh, what was that other franchise I was looking at? that he, I, I saw this before. Yeah, X-Men, kind of X-Men Marvel. And then also there's quite a few Tony Hawks on this build as well. We move into PlayStation 2 here, and again, a system where that's a little bit larger as far as file size. So, um, love the games they include, except Guitar. I wouldn't put Guitar Hero, but it looks like if you're looking for Guitar Hero, there you go. Half-Life, beautiful game, amazing. Um, Mortal Kombat. So, it looks like he did like, a, there's a few rhythm games in here. I'm not a big fan of that, just because it's, it's like putting light gun games. You know, they're cool. But usually people are going to find a specific build with light gun or rhythm games in them. But um, we keep moving. Uh, Final Fantasy and then another God of War, Grand Theft Auto. Nintendo Wii 24 games. Battle vs. Chess. What's the, I've never played this game before. It looks pretty good. I'll have to check it out. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, they're just adding the remake to this. Uh, Nintendo literally just announced the remake to this game, so if you want to experience the normal game before the remake, there you go. Or the HD version. Another Rhythm, Guitar Hero 3, Batman, uh, Lego, and Harry Potter Lego, and uh, Indiana Jones, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Party 9, awesome game right there. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I've never played this game before. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, Super Mario Bros. Uh, you or I guess it's it's just before that happened. This is before Super Mario Bros. U, the the predecessor. Pokemon Battle Revolution, The Simpsons game, Mario Galaxy One and Two, Super Mario, um, Paper Mario, and then Super Smash Brothers Brawl. So you have Smash Brothers for the Wii and the GameCube. Bully, great game there. And then we're back at Battle Chess. So Xbox, yeah, you have Halo on here. You got Call of Duty Two, Call of Duty Three, Doom Three. Um, you also have this game, and Ultimate Alliance, and Ninja Gaiden. Star Wars Battlefront. You do have uh, Stubby the Zombie as well. Oof. And then here you have those collections. You do have PC Engine as well. 16 games. I'm just going to skip over that. 13 Second Master System. Doom. It looks like you have... Oh, one's Doom 2. Okay. Doom and Doom 2. Um, I'm not sure what system that is. It might be just the port of it. Puzzle games and then old school games. So there you have it. Um... You'd have to add all that up, but it's not a lot of games, but it's an expansion for sure from what you normally get with the coin ops. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you the difference between the glass, having the glass effect on and off and having scan lines on and off. And then that way you can kind of see the difference for yourself, what it looks like. <clears throat> All right, you've made it this far into the video. You can see I played almost every system, or you're about to see I play almost every system. Here we have uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time for MAME. Uh, before that, I was showing you the different scan lines and things on the Killer Instinct game for MAME. I believe there's also the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct game on this um, on this build as well. Um, now we're playing some GameCube. Um, everything's running really well. My computer's fairly fast. Uh, there's no Nintendo Switch on this build or PlayStation 3, so you really don't need a really powerful computer to run all this. The thing I really like about CoinOps is you can put this on like an external hard drive and bring it around with you, and you can put it on anybody's computer, and it, one, it just looks amazing. I, to me, just showing people the menu system, they're gonna be like, oh, that's so, that's so cool, that's so dope, like that, the artwork. So shout out to uh, CoinOps for that. And then the game selection is really good as well. Like it has kind of the best of the best. And then the download is less than 500 gigabytes, so it's not too bad. Um, the only thing I really had to do different is the um, changing the controls, the default uh, Xbox controls. But other than that, it was pretty simple and I have no complaints. Like everything is in English and uh, it worked. So uh, for all those reasons, I dig it. I think it's like a, a, a different, a little bit, like I said, larger coin ops build that doesn't exist in the official coin ops area. 
I would say the biggest downside of this is it is somebody's kind of hack job, if you will. You call it a hack job, but it's definitely, you know, a homebrew. Somebody took something and they kind of added their own things to it. So I didn't find anything that's broken, but who knows what kind of shortcuts or whatever else might have been taken. But that wouldn't really deter me from something like this. Like I said, I would get this, put it on an external hard drive, and just play the heck out of it. I wouldn't necessarily turn this into a bigger build. Uh, I might just add like one or two games that were missing, but I wouldn't necessarily make this a jump off point. I'd rather start with like a clean coin ops build and move from there. But uh, for what this is, I think it's for somebody that wants a little bit more games and a little bit higher up as far as newer consoles from the retro out of the retro consoles, and it it hits all of those points. So I dig it. That's what I think. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.